thought her comments were disgraceful. Uh, this is a person that I don't know. I assume she's new. Uh, I think she dishonored herself, and I think she dishonored her family. He's talking about new Michigan Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, who at a party last night said this. Bullies don't win. And I said, baby, they don't. Because we're going to go in there, we're going to impeach the mother... Tlaib, who hasn't yet apologized, is taking some harsh criticism, including so from her own party. Thank you so Please much, remember, I Ten have said, million. I think that it, this is incredible because this is how movements start. You know, people think that it's about me introducing a bill or me introducing a resolution to look at the impeachable offenses of this president. No. Movements like this, movements around civil rights, movements around women's rights started in the streets, in neighborhoods, in communities where we demanded the United States Congress, the president of the United States, uh, demanded action, demanded change. And that's when we saw things like the Civil Rights Act being passed. That's when we saw finally women having the right to vote. Uh, this is because because of movements like this, the grassroots movement. And I always tell people, this is your house, you tell us what to do. And this is us telling this house what to do. And um, I want to thank Move On members across the country who are demanding to take action to hold this president accountable. We cannot set a precedent, and I constantly say this, and allow the rule of law to be eroded, to allow our democracy to be continued to be corrupted by this president. Well, good morning, saints. And welcome, sinners. This is the Critical Christian Crowd. I am the laconic lay leader, Lon Lanky Live. Welcome to another beautiful day here in uh, West Central Minnesota. You are living on God's static breath realm. And we say welcome. We got a uh, hot little topic there for you this morning, so sit back, relax, <laughs> get yourself a cup of coffee, if you will. Uh, we're going to unfortunately have to address this this morning. While I'm getting my cup of coffee this morning, and I'll wait for you. I want to thank uh, Lawson over at Guitar Lots on YouTube for providing the intro music. Good stuff. What a talented young man he is. What a talented young man he is. Anyway, Guitar Lots, check him out on YouTube. Good stuff. Oh, we're going to do a short pour this morning because we got a lot of... A lot of scripture to cover on this particular topic as well. Um, you know, it really doesn't matter which side you, uh, you you sit on. It really doesn't matter whether you're a Republican or whether you're a Democrat. I am a firm believer in the Hegelian dialectic where uh, they create a scenario where they have the solution to the problem and then uh, it's just up to everyone else to argue about the problem so they create the problem they already have the solution they just want to stir the pot a little that is the hegelian dialectic so the big news of course is that uh, is that president trump was impeached uh, either yesterday or the day before yesterday I, I would be interested to know how many Americans believe that now he has been impeached by the, uh, by the House that they, they think he is no longer president. I'm sure that there is a group of people out there that uh, firmly believe that he's not the president uh, anymore because it says it, you know, right there. Trump's impeached. Trump's impeached. Boop. So he's not president. And then they'll get upset when they find out he's still president. And then they'll get even more upset when they understand that it goes to the Senate and the Senate has an, uh, the opportunity just to acquit him of, of any charges because there were no charges. There were no criminal violations, no high crimes or misdemeanors, none, zero, nada. So, of course, I'm then back on the other side, the, the Republican side, they want justice. They want justice. They want the, the Clinton machine. Folks, you got to back all the way up. You got to back all the way up, or you will be so deep in this stew that you'll find no way out. We do have some interesting scripture this morning, though. Uh, 2 Corinthians 10, 3, and 5. Sorry about that. The little switcher logo is still in play, which is good for me, bad for you. But uh, th that scripture is, is very interesting. And uh, I've got some other scripture as well lined up, too, because. 
here's the whole deal, folks. This, this movement here, and let's take a look at these full clips. I ran just short snippets. Let's go ahead and, and take a look at the one with President Trump uh, addressing. But during this clip, I want you to notice something about the Democratic side. All women. And the three women behind this movement, uh, Linda, Ilhan, and Rashida, are all of the same religious persuasion. And uh, it's important that we know, and the scripture will prove this, that we're not, we're not fighting against flesh. We don't, listen, I have nothing against these women, you know, Linda, Ilhan, or Rashida. I have nothing against them. Uh, as Christians, we, we love them. If, if they were in a car accident on the side of the road and I pulled up, I would do everything I could to help them to save their life. I would hug each one of these women. I would love these women. And that's what we do. But we certainly stand up against what they're saying, and that's the whole, that's the whole Christian position, that you have to become strong. And like I said, sc Scripture does a lot better job of, uh, of explaining this than, than I could ever do, and that's because I am a man, and every man is a liar, and no man is good. But I do know myself, and I do know the Scripture, and I do lean on uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and I am led by the Spirit, which leads me to all truth, and that is a good thing. Let's take a look at these clips this morning, shall we? This is President Trump, first of all, uh, addressing this whole I thought her comments situation. were disgraceful. Uh, this is a person that I don't know. I assume she's new. Uh, I think she dishonored herself, and I think she dishonored her family. He's talking about new Michigan Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, who at a party last night said this. Bullies don't win. And no. I said, baby, they don't. Because we're going to go in there, we're going to impeach the mother... <laughs> Tlaib, who hasn't yet apologized, is taking some harsh criticism, including from her own party. Impeach He's me. one member. I have said I think that it, you don't impeachment would tear this country apart. The Democratic leader, however, didn't seem particularly offended. I'm not in the censorship business. I don't think it's anything worse than the president has what the president has said. Not that Pelosi shares Tlaib's enthusiasm for impeachment. We have to wait and see what happens with the Mueller report. Uh, we shouldn't be impeaching for a political reason. That has been Pelosi's very careful position for some time now, as many senior Democrats worry impeachment could hurt their chances in 2020. But with a host of new progressive members in the House eager to flex their political muscle, she may have a hard time keeping impeachment on the back burner. Did you take a look at that, that group of progressive liberals that represent the Democratic side? They're all women, all of them. I, when I found that clip this morning, I, I immediately, I was, I was shocked. I was stunned because part of the Hegelic, or, uh, the Hegelic dialectic, Hegelian dialectic, paid $500 to get my nose fixed. Now my mouth won't work this morning again. The Hegelian dialectic is just that. Uh, they create the problem in the narrative. And, and one of these, uh, along with feminism and, and, uh, and, and sin acceptance is that that women are good and men are bad that's just that's what they're doing so the entire uh, left side is made up of a majority of women and they're angry they're mad you, you saw uh, uh, Rashida Tlaib uh, use the foulest language you could possibly use uh, not only as a, a marine or a sailor coming off the boat and getting in a fight on the pier, no, 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 no. To her son, she says these filthy, nasty words. They come pouring out of her mouth so easily. And that's uh, that's not good, folks. And, and, and it's getting to the point here, too, that if, if you're yoking yourself with the, with the one side, uh, then you have to take responsibility for the leadership that, that, that these people are showing. Now, of course, here in the state of Minnesota, we have our own problem, uh, you know, with this young lady. So let's take a look at the second uh, clip, and I'll, and I'll get to the movement and, and the, the bulk of uh, at least the cultural commentary and the social commentary this morning is going to be about this one right here, uh, because she is behind it. She's behind this, and she's behind everything else. But in the meantime, this is who we, who we are talking to and addressing here this morning, and that is Rashida Tlaib. 
Um, she also had, a, I believe, a Twitter post where she was ecstatic that, that President Trump had been, had been uh, impeached. So if you were keeping score, you would uh, think that the uh, left has, has got a lead. And, uh, yeah, by all practical and logical reasonings, uh, the left is winning. And, and here's the scary thought, folks. Here is the scary thought. What if, the, what if the left does win the next presidential election? What are you going to do then? Uh, I know one thing. You need to stay calm. Even though it, right now is the time to stand up, speak up, and not get angry. But you have got to stay calm. You've got to stay calm. And uh, we are one event away from all that happening. Let's take a look at uh, Ms. Uh, Rashid's uh, second clip here today. This is after she got the 10 million signatures uh, to impeach uh, President Trump. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you so much, Reggie. 10 million. This is incredible because this is how movements start. You know, people think that it's about me introducing a bill or me introducing a resolution to look at the impeachable offenses of this president. No. Movements like this, movements around civil rights, movements around women's rights started in the streets, in neighborhoods, in communities where we demanded the United States Congress, the president of the United States, uh, demanded action, demanded change. And that's when we saw things like the Civil Rights Act being passed. That's when we saw finally women having the right to I want you vote. to take a look here. I zoomed uh, in on this, of this woman like this, with the, the hijab on movement. in the background and I always tell people, this is your Rashid house, Tlaib's you tell us what to do. Giving. And this is us and telling this house what to do. Linda and um, I want to thank Move On members that across the country Linda. who are demanding to take action to hold this president accountable. We cannot set a precedent, and I constantly say this, and allow the rule of law to be eroded, to allow our democracy to be continued to be corrupted by this president. Remember that face. Remember that face right there, because she is at the heart of everything evil in this country. Everything evil, she is at the heart of. I want to, I want to change my, uh, my uh, little drinking game when you sit in front of the propaganda box. For those of you who are drinkers and who like doing that single shot every every time you hear a topic come up. It has now been changed to federal space lesbian drug monkeys. So anytime you're sitting in front of the propaganda box in your living room or in your bedroom with your, with your betrothed and you hear them talk about the federal government, outer space, lesbians, drugs in America, or monkeys, animals, uh, then you get to take a shot. You'll be drunk in 45 minutes. All right, anyway, to the point. Linda Saussure. Good gravy almighty. I pulled up her Facebook profile today because, I, like I said, I, this is a spiritual battle, folks. This is an absolute spiritual battle. And uh, what I want you to take a look at is, is how she lists herself on Facebook. On Facebook. All right? 